AMC's The Walking Dead. Oh. With a new, like, family-friendly We've got a to new it. look to the show. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what's going to happen when Rick's they, gone? Yeah, they kill He's all dead. the walkers, and now they've been replaced with killer clowns. I mean, what else are you going to do? What? <laughs> that sounds even scarier, actually. The, 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 the walking... The, or, no, the, the walking dead joke. Ah. That's the scariest thing of all, a dead joke. Dead joke. I, I'm the king of dead jokes. <sighs> anyway, so uh, yeah, we're talking about episode nine. No, I'm sorry. Season, season nine, nine, right. Episode three, yes. which is titled... Warning Signs. Warning Signs. I saw the signs. Wait, actually, we referenced that song like a week ago, like two weeks ago. No, not on the podcast. That not was on off, the podcast. That was right, off camera, yeah. but... right. Yes, um, you have warning signs, yeah. and what warning signs do we have? Well, of course, not everyone is happy with Rick's decisions, mm -hmm. mainly to keep Negan alive. Mm -hmm. And we know that he's keeping Negan alive because of what Carl, Coral, told him in the letter. Mm -hmm. And we've been we were talking about this a little bit before we started recording how. Um, they're doing a really good what the show is doing a really good job of is it's making it so that it's not all that clear which way Rick should should have gone I mean obviously it's it's pretty easy to see that he's been swayed by you know mm -hmm. his late son asking him to not go through with right. killing Negan but at the same time, you can understand like why people just think that Negan and, quite honestly, the rest of the saviors shouldn't deserve a chance. Yeah. And Negan's not getting a chance. He's he's imprisoned. But, of course, Rick's whole um, theory on that is, well, if you kill him, you make him a martyr, which is true. You can't you can't kill Negan and not have at least a group a section of the saviors revolt especially yeah. since we saw that i am still negan or, or we are still negan yeah graffiti why don't they just kill the negan and not tell anybody yeah you know what they could do that they told although well i mean you do risk it getting out negan, and negan starved himself to death right but we're not there yet i doubt they'd believe him believe that though <laughs> the saviors you know yeah uh, so what happened in this episode uh yeah, so episode two kind of left us on a cliffhanger where we didn't know right. who was what killing to the jerk guy. Yeah, the jerk guy along with the other the other saviors. Right, Maggie finds him as a walker pretty early on. Right, because she's visiting the camp now. And uh, Rick notices that oh well, they were killed with something that really looks like a uh, something piercing. Yeah, not, too not clean a, to be a bullet or whatever. A, yeah. You claim to be a bullet. You saying I did? You, you really think I did it? Hey, Rick. You thinking I did it? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, and so they find out that that guy died, and they all all the saviors start freaking out, rightfully so, because a few of them have gone missing. Yeah, now. and they try to. Um, it was this episode where they kind of they're they're really blending together. That that's maybe a, a bit of a fault during this time of the show but they do blend together a little bit the episodes oh, really? what was it this episode where um one of them takes uh yeah one of them takes uh carol hostage uh -huh. um basically rick and rick and carol get ambushed sorry this is going to be completely out of order since it's, it's been so long since we saw the episode well i actually saw it a few days ago oh cool i watched them both back to back like on no actually it was last night Nice. It was actually probably today. It was like twelve o'clock. Nice. <laughs> well, it just keeps. Hey, you just watched them five minutes ago. Yeah. Right. 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 <laughs> actually, it was like yeah. Actually, right you, before I came, you watched them an hour from now, but you remember it like it was yesterday. Oh, okay. <laughs> Christopher Walken's back, huh? I, he keeps. It's hard to keep a good walking down. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, we have that altercation with yeah, and they want guns because they're like people yeah. are killing us, so give us guns. Yeah, we're and and of course 
the and, saviors. And they're it's kind of understandable because you know they don't know who's killing him. It could be someone that Rick is is doing, but it's like, hey, I don't know who's killing you. Pop 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 kind of thing. You know, it's like right. he could be doing that, trying to off saviors a little bit at a time. For all they know, mm-hmm. of course, as the audience, we know that he's not doing it. We don't know quite until the end of the episode who it is that's doing it. Although it kind of, we should have seen it coming. I, I feel after after it's I don't revealed. know. I thought the Moana girl was cool. Moana girl. Sorry, she just looks like the girl from that Disney movie Moana. Well, she's still alive. You talk about her like she's dead. What do you mean? What did I say? I miss uh, or. or did you say I missed that Moana girl? No, no. I said I thought she was cool. Oh, was cool. She was like lying about. It. She's it, like whoever oh, gotcha. whoever was doing it is, is gonna is gonna get what's coming to them. It's like, hmm. um, okay, pretty sure you're the murderer here. Um, exactly what a guilty person would so say. Yeah, it, it turns out at the end they're they're the ones who were Oceanside. Yeah, the Oceanside. The folk widow. The have, widows. Yeah, they have not forgotten about the people who have killed their husbands and brothers and et cetera, et cetera, and. At the end, they're but, all... But they are only killing the saviors who killed yeah, right. their men. Yeah. Specific they're not killing people. all of the saviors right. yeah. one at a time. Yeah, and they have one more. It's that girl with the blonde hair. Yeah. She... Yeah, with the girl with the blonde hair. Bleach blonde yeah. hair. Yeah, <laughs> somehow. Um, it's very strong bleach. When she got it yeah. back in the... When times things were normal, the dude it just stayed. Um, sunk into her skull. All her Well, you know, she just... was at the... Uh... At the sanctuary, that was a factor. Yeah, so there maybe was they probably has... bleach there. Yeah, it's still it's like I told you, like priorities, you know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you want to stand out more in a zombie apocalypse, yeah, anyway. For some reason. <laughs> um, but yeah, so like uh, a, a couple of the people, like from Alexandria, like Rick and Carol and Daryl and Maggie, um, they all kind of set out at night to try and find who's doing this. And then Daryl s- sees um, one of the punctures, and he says that he knows who's doing it. Because apparently one of the Oceanside ladies has like this weird thing that shoots. I didn't it's know like what a, it was. It's, it looks like a... Um, like a harpoon gun almost. I don't know. It's yeah, weird. Kinda, kind of like a spear type weapon. It yeah, like harpoon. Like, I, I don't know. But anyways, and so they travel to this place um, where they had mentioned earlier. And they find all the Oceanside people gather around the lady that they were looking for. And she's the last one. Yeah, and they're like, we and, just need to do this. Let, her, let us kill yeah. her. And Maggie and Daryl, it looks like... Uh, you're not really sure that they may try to stop him. I they may they not. Were gonna, I thought they were going to stop him. I thought they were going to let her live. Yeah. That's really... Which but, is what makes the moment good, yeah, I guess. It, it really does because it turns out um, she killed, like, he was, what, 11 years old? Yeah. The 11-year-old yeah. brother of one of these... Uh, of one of the kind women of the main from, Oceanside girl. Yeah, yeah. I can never remember her name. And the uh, thing about that, The Walking Dead. That's, yeah. Well, we're only going to say the main cast names over and over and over again. Everyone else is unnecessary. So, um, but yeah, she she said that not only did she kill her brother in that spot, but she smiled about it and said no exceptions. Yeah. And once Maggie and Daryl heard that part of the story. Which that wasn't, I thought it was going to be something way worse that she said. The way they built that up. Yeah. No exceptions just sounds like she's stating a rule. Right. I thought it was gonna be something like really wicked, like taking pleasure in it. I was like, I thought That's so not too, but but in 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 hindsight, it's basically saying like, oh, no exceptions. Okay, no exceptions in this case. I think that's why they went with that line. Huh. Maybe, yeah. Like since like, well, we killed relevant. the other the others were killed because of what they did. You should be no exception. Yeah, yeah and then they say, and they just walk away. They tell Maggie. Because of what you did to, to oh, what's to his face? Gregory. Gregory, we yeah. we thought that we could go. You started they, something. They said Rick's rules are not the only rules. Yeah. And Maggie's like, you did this because of me. And yeah. I thought that she was like, oh crap. But like, instead, oh, she's man, like, what oh, have I started? Cool. It seems like instead, she's just like, all right, I approve. Walk away. Maggie approved. <laughs> like, yeah, I, man, it was disappointing. And I, it, it was interesting that Maggie turned around first, and then Daryl turned yeah. second. Like he was, he was following her lead. Yeah, um, Cause that's what Daryl is. You follow. And, her. and and here's the thing. Like so, yeah. Uh, spoiler alert: Rick is not going to be in the show for very much longer. Uh-huh. He's got you know not a whole lot of time left, one way or another. But I don't think Daryl. I I hope that they're not going to try to make Daryl the new 
main no. character. Who is? Isn't Lauren Cohan leaving the show? Maggie? Yeah. Um, I heard something about how she was leaving it for a while. I think she's... I, I don't think she's going to be in it for How do for you pull longer. that off? It looks like they're making her, like, super important now. Right. O- or <sighs> Michonne. You don't think she should be the replacement? I think she's a better choice than Daryl. Yeah, definitely. Because Daryl has always just... He's, he's very much a supportive character and not, not supportive in that, like... Oh man, Rick! I'll go with whatever you right. say. You know, he's not—he's not all like that. But he, his character, his character is just as a leading man. Yeah, it's—it's. It's, I can't really, you know, say it any more sim- simpler. Um, any, any more simple. Yeah. So, yeah, that's kind of how the episode. Um, there's something else ends. important that happens. Because that's not. There's other threads to the plot. I'm just trying to remember. I thought that that thing with Carol was was cool how carol gets out of it like guy is you know has her has her by the throat with something he can cut her throat with and he wants rick's gun and Mm -hmm. like rick relents and she's got her own knife and she as soon as he lets up she turns around and yeah they kind of had right here knew what they were gonna do and just like you know get him back to the camp we'll sew him up yeah like Okay, you know Rick is Rick does not want you people to die. Yet that same guy yeah. comes back later. Okay, I guess that really is all that kind of happens. Well, except for at the very end. Oh, the whole subplot with uh, Gabriel with Anne and Gabriel. I didn't think that was in this one. Yes, he she disappears. He goes to look for her, and he tries to convince her to come back and. He basically figures out like, oh, you've been trading people, and she... no, that's in this. That's in no, the next one. No, it, it's in the. It's in the. It's in this one. Trust, trust me. He gets knocked out at the end, like she knocks him out, and then right. Okay, yeah, that's right. Yes, yes. It's yeah, in, it's she, in she, both. She does the thing where she's like, um, do you? Oh, she no. She she goes back to the junkyard. I she thought you were turns a. a radio on. Yeah, and it's she's so talking weird, to dude. Yeah, they're, they're talking in code, and she and. Basically, she's got to. It sounds like she's trying to earn her way into some kind of sanctuary place. It's so strange. A safe place. And she's got that room. Remember that fancy looking room that's in the last pristine. season? That's pristine. Yeah, that's like. I need in... answers. If we don't get answers for this, I'm going to be mad. Yeah, I hope this they is don't. It's not something you can't just pull a. You can't string us along on this yeah. for that long. Um, uh, here's the thing. But but the guy on the other line said, do you have an A? Or a B. Or a B. And I think she said a B. Just, no, she says just me. Because she just, she wants to go. Oh, and he's just like, like, you need an A or something like that. Yeah, I, I don't know. And then like, people are apparently graded. Here's my thing. Here's my idea. All right. Oh, this bleeds into the next episode. I can't sit. Yeah, save it, save it okay, for that okay. one. We'll have another review. Yeah, so basically it ends where she's like talking to him and he and, she's, and he says something like, um, she's like, you should come with me. And he's like, not like this. And she goes, yeah. I thought you were, I thought, and to think I thought you were a B or something like that. And she goes, and smacks him in the head. And you're like, right. what? And I think that's the last shot we get of that. Yeah, and we don't know what A or B is. No. It could be ranking. It could be um, A is someone that I, that I bring along, or B is someone that I bring along with me. A is just someone that you can have. For whatever purpose. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but here's the... Um, okay, so so then the whole thing ends. Maggie and Daryl, after they walk away, they, basically Maggie says something to the extent of like... That basically means, I'm going to go kill Negan now. She's like, I'm going to go get do what we should have done right. a long time ago. After... And you're just like... And I just remember being like, oh, guys, come on. Yeah. Don't be dumb. I said it earlier. I was like, they're so dumb. Right. Right. Oh, but that's more in the next episode, anyway. Yeah. So, so um, I I, was, I did like this yeah, one. I thought it was good. Um, oh goodness, they they just give you they give you so much to think about and just like put yourself in situations of yeah. The saviors. I mean, I I hate to admit it, but they're they're you can you can't help but be a bit sympathetic. There's some conversations in this episode and the next where it's just like back and forth, and I'm just like, yeah. You're right. Oh, yeah. you're right. Like it's you're like, onto something. <laughs> it's it's pretty it's pretty good conflicts. I like it. Yeah, I and agree. I'm just scared because I don't because I don't know where it's going. Lots with, of tension building with up. The characters that are leaving and stuff. Uh, yeah, but I, I give it I give it 15 tic tacs. Mm. Um, I was thinking four pepperoni pizza slices. 
Very nice. Hmm. 